Today we're going to be talking about circular saw blades. And one of the most popular questions we get asked, which is, when do I go from using a disposable blade to using a resharpenable blade? Hello everybody, my name is Sam Lacey, and for the past 13 years, I have been in the pallet recycling industry, reducing costs in pallet facilities all across the country, trying to find new products, innovative products, to help our industry that we serve reduce cost, cost per cut, and increase their profits. Today, the question, the, or the topic we're gonna to discuss is circular blades. Now, as a general rule of thumb, if you're using anywhere from a seven and a quarter to a 12 inch blade, my recommendation is to use a disposable blade. Now, there's a caveat with that. The caveat is, if you're using a general purpose circular blade, meaning you buy a blade at, say, Lowe's, Home Depot, any of the hardware stores, which are primarily meant for cutting two by fours, you know, two by sixes, et cetera, not really meant for cutting wood with embedded nails in it. If you're using a general purpose circular blade, you may want to look at what your options are. If you're using a blade such as we've designed here at Fuelbox, which is our newest Nail Ninja blade, that is meant to cut wood with embedded nails in it. How do we do that? We test the blades, we choose the proper carbide, we choose the proper plate. If you notice, we have a unique design in our plate. We have an extra notch in our plate here. We have a, a unique carbide tooth on here that we've designed specifically for the power recycling industry. Is our blade good for cutting virgin lumber? Maybe this blade is not the best blade for cutting two by fours with no nails in it, but it is the best blade for cutting stringers, runners with the occasional nails that it hits and it gives you the lowest total cost. Now, on the other side of things, when you go above 12 inch, if you look at what your sharpening cost is and you look at what it costs to replace the blade is, it most likely makes sense, unless you have an outrageous charge of resharpening your blades, but it does in most cases make sense to go with a resharpenable blade. We have two options on our resharpenable blades. We have our Nail Ninja Pro and our Nail Ninja Pro Plus, which is our newest and best design on our resharpenable blade line. We can discuss that in another video of how much that blade would cost if you were to choose that blade. It all depends on what your sharpening cost is because to replace the plate, believe it or not, is your smallest cost. You're gonna be resharpening that blade 10, 15, 20, 30 times. So find out what that cost would be for you, but choosing the right plate and the right teeth on the blade is very, very important. So again, just in summary, lowest total cost, find the blade that will cut wood with embedded nails in it without getting damaged as easily. Because we, we've we tested against blades that are general purpose blades and to see how easily those blades get destroyed is fascinating to watch. So we're here to help find you your lowest total cost. Other products on the horizon, we're very excited to bring new products to the industry. And if I can help in any way or our team, please reach out to us. We're here to help and want you to have the lowest total cost per cup. Thanks everybody, have a nice day.